if I was in charge of Watney's advertising, I'd appeal to people's innermost subconscious desires. I'd say Watney's Pale is not only cool, clear ale, it has amazing, magical properties. If you take a swig of Watney's Pale, you'll see lovely ladies in diaphanous nighties come into your room and dance about. And all the people will go out and buy Watney's Pale and say, I buy it because it's cool, clear ale, of course. But that wouldn't be the reason at all. I was watching the television the other night when all of a sudden I saw myself. It was an amazing experience. I'd never been face to face with such a super salesman before. I was selling Watney's Ales. Watney's Pale is cool, clear ale, I said, most compellingly. Watney's Brown, drink it down. It was extremely compelling. I had to rush straight out and buy myself a beer. I must be worth a gold mine to Watney's. If I was advertising Watney's Brown, I'd do a lot more threatening. It's not enough to say just how nice Watney's Brown is. I'd be a lot more menacing. I would say that Watney's, in their infinite wisdom, have hired a gang of thugs and rowdies called the Watney Brown Men. And if they call on your house and you can't show them a bottle of Watney's Brown, they'll stamp on your glasses and take five pounds away from you. So watch out for the Watney Brown Men. I'd just like to talk to all the lovely ladies who are watching this evening. Hello, lovely ladies. The secret of a happy marriage is to keep some bottles of Watney's Brown around the house. It's lovely stuff, Watney's Brown. Give him a glass of it with his breakfast. It goes very nicely with toast and marmalade. Pour some over his cornflakes if you feel like it. And if you slip a bottle of Watney's Brown into his knapsack every day, your marriage will last for a million years. Good evening. In 1787, a certain Dr. Letson worked out exactly what happens to you when you drink different things. He said that if you drink a beer like Watney's Pale, you're blessed with health, wealth and serenity of mind. But if you drink horrible things like toddy, crank, flip and shrub, you go all bloated and finish up either in Botany Bay or on the gallows. I'd stick to Watney's Pale if I were you. That's what makes me so dynamic. I don't think Watney's should be allowed to say what we want is Watney's. That we takes a lot for granted. After all, there are some people who don't want Watney's pale or Watney's brown. Take my grandmother, for example. She didn't want Watney's at all. She used to say, if there's one thing I don't want, it's Watney's. She drank spinach wine, stupid old bag. What they should say is what we, apart from E.L. Whisty's grandmother, want is Watney's. That would have the ring of truth. I had a visit yesterday from my friend Spotty Muldoon. He wanted to know if I could get him into a Watney TV advertisement. He said he didn't want to be the star, just an extra in the background, swigging down lots of Watney's Pale and Watney's Brown. Spotty said he was very good at swigging Watney's Pale and Watney's Brown, and would I mention his name? I said if I mentioned a name like Spotty Muldoon to Watney's, we'd both be out of a job. Get a fistful 